Welcome back to my channel, everyone. As you can see up here on the uh, power supply, the current flow is about a half of an amp. It's dropped way off. And that's because if you look down here at the silver cell, the anode filter basket has become clogged up with slimes as this impure silver uh, dissolves in here it leaves the impurities behind in this anode filter impurities such as platinum group metals and gold and just plain old dirt and it accumulates in that filter and then it prevents the current flow from going through the filter down into the cell going to kill the power supply and we're going to get down here now and uh, get this old anode filter out of here and just put it in this container and get it out of the way. Here you can see down in this anode filter, it's full of just muck. And that's called silver cell slimes. And like I said, it's, it'll have precious metals in it because the impure silver shot that's in here that I feed into this thing has precious metals in it, platinum, palladium, and some gold. And as the silver dissolves from the electrolytic action, those insoluble materials and precious metals uh, get left behind and accumulate in this anode filter. And what it does is it plugs the filter up and then the current flow uh, slows way down through the silver cell. I've got a brand new anode filter made up. It's just a food cup with some holes punched in it. And there's a Dacron filter bag. And I've got the lid of the food cup cut open in the middle so that it forms like a little retainer ring that will hold the anode filter in place inside the cup. Here's some of the impure shot that we're feeding in. This is impure silver shot that I recover from my gold refining operations. I use sterling silver to refine the gold. I pull the silver back out with nitric acid. Then I recover the silver from the gold refining operation, melted into shot to form these granules, the shot, and then I use this material as feedstock for the electrolytic silver cell. All right, we've got that filled up. So now what we'll do is take it over here to our silver cell got this covered up so nothing falls down in here and we're gonna put the uh, new newly prepared anode filter down into the silver cell and we're gonna reinstall the anode electrode bar on top of the anode filter let's take a peek down into the cell this has uh, been in operation since last Friday, and today is Wednesday. And so here's what it looks like down inside of my electrolytic silver cell. What happens is the current flow that travels through the anode electrode bar and into the uh, silver shot up there the current flow goes through the anode filter, dissolves that silver and the copper that's in there. And then that uh, dissolved copper and silver flows down into the silver nitrate electrolyte in my silver cell. The copper is what turns it blue. Silver nitrate is clear and colorless like water. And then those silver ions Played out on the inside of this stainless steel bowl as high purity silver. The copper just builds up in the electrolyte. It does not plate out. It builds up in the electrolyte. 
However, if it's allowed to get above a certain level, concentration, the copper is allowed to get above a certain level, it will begin to co-deposit with the silver and thus contaminate our pure silver crystal. Screw this up. Whenever I go in here to look at this and check and see how things are going, by stirring it up, I, uh, it keeps that electrolyte moving around in there. And then I keep a cover on here to prevent junk from falling down in there. Now what we're gonna do is energize the power supply and see what the current flow is now that we've installed a new filter. There you can see we've jumped from 0.5 amps through the cell to 2.5 amps flowing through the electrolytic silver cell. I'll allow this thing to run for about now 10 days or 14 days or so and uh, let this thing get full of pure silver and then we'll take it apart and harvest the pure silver crystal. Okay, this will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.